say hello. Hello, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Foose again with her friend. You know who I mean. Little Mouse, of course. Come on out, my little mouse. <laughs> He's always so excited to see everybody. What are you so excited about? Oh, he's excited because we've been talking about winter and he would like it to snow. Little mouse, it will snow. It's cold and soon there will be some snow on the ground, but you have to wait patiently. I don't know what day it's going to snow. It could be a few days. I know. I know it's very hard to wait. Well, I have a story about a little girl named Geraldine who was waiting for a snow. And it was hard for her to wait, too. So let's read a winter story today. Little Mouse, you come and sit down. And the story I'm going to read today is called Geraldine's Big Snow. And every time there's a book, Someone is an author. That means they wrote the book. They wrote the words to the book. And this author is Holly Keller. So let me get my camera ready to go. And we are going to read the story of Geraldine's Big Snow and see how hard it is for her to wait. And to see if she finally gets some snow to play in. Geraldine brought her new sled down from the attic and put her boots near the door. I'm ready, she said. It will come faster if you don't watch so much, Mama told her, but Geraldine wanted to watch. Tell me again what Papa heard on the radio, she said. This is the last time, Geraldine, Mama scolded. He heard that there is a big storm coming and there will be at least a foot of snow. How much is a foot? Geraldine asked. Mama held out her hand. Wow, Geraldine said sucking in her cheeks. But when? Soon, said Mama. Very soon. Geraldine put on her hat and her jacket. I'm going outside to wait. Good, Mama said. Hello, Geraldine, said Mrs. Wilson, who was coming home from the market. You bought a lot of apples, Geraldine said. Mrs. Wilson nodded. It will be hard to go shopping when the snow comes. Geraldine walked along with her eyes on the sky until she bumped into Mr. Peters, who was coming home from the library. Afternoon, Geraldine, Mr. Peters grumbled as he picked up his books. I'm sorry, Geraldine said. I was watching for the snow. Mr. Peters cleared his throat. Better get plenty of good books to read. Geraldine stopped to watch Mr. Harper put seeds in his bird feeder. Birds get hungry in the snow, he said. Uncle Albert was Attaching the snowplow to his truck, he waved to Geraldine, and Geraldine waved back. Geraldine started to sing. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> she sang all the way home and watched the sky. But by supper time, there was still no snow, and Geraldine was very weary from watching. Maybe it isn't really coming, she said. Maybe the man on the radio is wrong. 
Maybe Mrs. Wilson and Mr. Peters and Mr. Harper and Uncle Albert are all wrong. Geraldine took a last look out the window. A star was hiding behind a cloud and she watched it until she fell asleep. Then in the night it came, softly and quietly, millions of snowflakes piled up on houses and trees. They made soft mounds on the streets and in the park and beautiful crystals on the windows. Geraldine heard Uncle Albert snowplow before she opened her eyes. It's here, she shouted, it's here. Mrs. Wilson got right to work making apple pies. Mr. Peters sat in front of the fireplace reading. Mr. Harper counted 11 birds and three cardinals at his bird feeder. And Geraldine took her sled to the top of the highest hill in the park. And coasted all the way down. Oh my goodness. Poor Geraldine. She had to wait and wait. But she finally got her snow. And we're going to have to wait for a while yet. Because... The people on the TV that I watch for weather are saying it's going to be a little while yet. But it is winter, and today we'll play our last game of Jump Man. So we, yesterday, had to say, if, here, I'll turn it this way. We had to say if something looked like winter, like mittens, if something looked like summer, when the hot sun comes out, or fall, when things fall. So today we're going to add this one. It's another letter S, and it's spring. And spring comes after the cold of winter. Things are just starting to grow. You can plant seeds. Flowers might grow. Robins might come and look for worms. It's not a really hot time of the year, but it is getting warmer. So we're going to add these three. This is an umbrella. And now we'll need an umbrella because it's not snowing anymore. In spring, we go back to rain and rain helps things grow. So an umbrella reminds us of spring. This is a little packet of seeds. Do you see the little seeds right here? So that is something that happens in the spring. We plant seeds and then flowers grow. So these are the three spring cards I'm gonna add to our deck. Here's our deck. I'm gonna just put them in anywhere. I have no idea where they're gonna be. Okay, and let's put this one in too. Okay, now remember, Either you'll tell me the word for the season, or you'll very quietly jump. I might go a little faster today, too, so see if you can keep up. It'll be the hardest it's been all week, but I think you can do it. All right, a nice warm hat reminds us of winter, right? A shovel filled with snow, let me hear, winter, right? Did you jump? A tree filled with nice green leaves. That happens in the summer when it's hot. A packet of seeds that you can plant. We just learned that's in the spring. A leaf colored yellow. Well, that happens in the fall because it's going to fall off the tree. Some nice hot chocolate. 
when it's snowy and cold in the winter. Apples come off the trees in the fall. When can we wear shorts? When it's so hot in the summer. We might decorate our pumpkin with a face in the fall. When the snow turns back to rain, we need an umbrella in the spring. Somebody going down a sled, on a sled down a snowy hill. Of course that's winter. Swimming in a pool outside because it's so hot happens in the summer. Flowers grow in our new season, the spring. You can wear a light jacket when you're raking leaves in the fall. A snowflake. That's what Geraldine was waiting for because it's winter. Oh, I hope you enjoyed the game, and I hope you got most of the seasons correct. All right. We're going to talk a little bit more about winter because that is our season right now. And although we're still waiting for snow, I thought maybe I could show you how I make a snowflake, and then we can do a little snowflake song. So, to make a snowflake, I need a scissors. And... A circle. I already cut the circle out. But all you need is just a piece of white paper and maybe someone in your family could help you cut the circle or you could cut one yourself. So you take the circle and you have to fold it. So I'm going to fold it like this. And now it's like half a circle. It almost looks like a tackle. But I do want to fold it one more time. So now I'm going to start at the top and bring the corners together and fold one more time. Now it looks a little bit more like a triangle, doesn't it? Now I'm going to take my scissors and snip some spots out. So I'm going to put my thumb on top and the rest of my fingers down below and I'm going to open and close and snip. Now I've got a grown-up pair of scissors. I think at your house you probably have a smaller Hair made just for you. So I'm going to just snip. Some of the snips will go on the floor so I'll have to clean up later. Snip, snip. So look, I snipped a triangle shape right out of my snowflake. Maybe this time I'll make a bigger triangle and take the triangle out. I'm really just making triangles. That's the way I like to do it. Now I'm going to go around the edge and snip. It takes two snips to make a triangle. Snip, 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 snip. Whoops, there it flies. Snip, snip. And now I'm going to, on this side, I'm going to make one last snip. Now don't cut your whole snowflake because then it'll break into pieces. Just make little snips along the edges. Snip, snip. Now here's the fun part. I get to open it up. And what do you think of that? Didn't that make kind of a pretty snowflake? I thought I might show it to Little Mouse. Little Mouse, would you like to see my snowflake? Oh, I think he does. I think he's waiting for snow too. Come here, little mouse. Oh, I think he likes it. Oh, yeah, you can hold it, little mouse. It's not even cold. It's just a paper snowflake. There we go. And now I'm going to put on a little song about snowflakes. It's just a nice little quiet song. And it's going to tell you what you could do with your snowflake. Now, since you haven't made a snowflake yet, 
you can just pretend you're holding a snowflake. And later on, if you want to make one, you can play a game just like we did with this song. So let me get this song started. Okay, it's just a nice quiet song. I think you'll like it. Snowflake, snowflake, dance around. Snowflake, Ooh. snowflake, touch the ground. It did just touch the ground. You know, snowflake landing on my nose. Thanks, little mouse. Down to your toes. Snowflake landing my toe up. <laughs> on my toes. There. Let it fall. Snowflake, oh, snowflake, dance around. Snowflake, snowflake, touch the ground. Now see if you can keep Oops. it up in the air with your air. Little mouse really does like to dance. That pretty music you're hearing is played by a flute. enjoyed that song and the snowflake. Now I did promise Little Mouse before we go that we do a silly song and we have talked about opposites and remember opposites are very very different different words. Like if I say yes the opposite would be what? No. If I say up the opposite would be down. So let me get our next song out and you are going to hear opposites and you're going to see Little Mouse having a very good time, boys and girls. He loves to dance, as you can probably tell. All right, are you ready? Let's see how Little Mouse and you do. Remember, this song has an opposite in it. Ready, Little Mouse? is pretty tired now and a little dizzy but I hope you had fun and 
the rest of this weekend you could be thinking about opposites. Maybe you'll think of some we haven't talked about yet. Two words that are very different, like summer and winter. So it's time to say goodbye. Are you ready? Maybe you can do it with me. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you soon. <laughs>